Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a close look at another classic. This is the Converse Pro Leather High Top Shoes in the white and coastal blue colorway. Now this court classic retails for $75 and I'm going to be leaving a link down in the description if you guys want to check it out. We're going to be taking a close look at the upper, the outsole, and lastly we're going to be seeing how these hold up on feet. So let's get into it. For the upper, we have a full grain leather. The leather feels a bit thin, and it's especially apparent when feeling the toe box. It seems to kind of lack structure. On the tongue, we have a simple cloth converse tag sewn on. The tongue is also very thinly padded. We have flat white laces down below. On the side, we have the nice starring chevron converse logo with some perforations as well as the gold pro leather lettering that reminds me a bit of what adidas does on pretty much all their classic shoes at the rear we have another converse logo on a really unique blue cutout tab it looks really good in my opinion the collar has some nice blue colored padding on it for that ankle support below we have a rubber outsole on the side of it it has kind of like that brick wall pattern which is a nice little detail Below that, it follows that same theme as it has another brick-like pattern to it with the Converse logo in the middle. The insole is glued down, so unfortunately I can't show you guys what it looks like. It did, however, feel a bit like memory foam. Apparently it's Lunar Lawn, which makes sense since Converse is pretty well known for using this tech in their shoe. It felt really nice to the touch, and I think it's going to feel good on feet. So let's try them out. On feet, I went true to size and that worked well for me. The width was pretty regular, not wide, not narrow. The upper was comfortable and roomy on the, the toes. My ankles felt supported, but not restricted. Below the memory foam-like insole actually performed a lot better than I thought it would. It gave really good cushioning and it was responsive. Because it's a high top shoe, the toe box didn't really crease. Where it did crease was on the sides. With the leather being soft and all, only time will tell how these are going to age. The shoe was originally released in 1976, which was the same year that the ABA and the NBA were merged. It had new technology for the time and it became an instant basketball classic, led by Julius Dr. J. Irving. He pretty much became the face of the shoe and the shoe remains a classic today. Overall, I really dig the shoe, even though the leather leaves something to be desired. It's comfortable for what it is, it's got that classic high top basketball shoe silhouette, and it looks good. Definitely a good high top shoe for the upcoming summer months, as it goes with everything. Jeans, shorts, it doesn't matter. Like I said, I'm going to be leaving a link down below if you guys want to check it out. Like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching guys. See you guys in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,